Hey guys, this is Aaron, and today I'm going to teach you the basics of the Cinema 40 frames timeline thing out at the bottom here, just above um, materials. You should probably be using R10 or higher, um, even though I'm pretty sure all versions of Cinema 40 have this tool, but um, there might be some parts of it that, um, yeah, there might be some parts of it that you might not be able to do with earlier versions, like, I don't know. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so the f you'll find the, 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 the frame timeline, what I call it, down the bottom here, just underneath the, the no, visual screen, and just above where you make materials and stuff. Alright, so when you open up Cinema 4D, it starts with a rendering timeline of 90 frames in total. But you can change this by going to this little thing at the bottom here. Now when you use this, it can, um, you can click the up arrow, and then it you'll notice that this has gone down, and it's still 90 frames, but it says 110 frames. If you drag this along, you will now have 110 frames. Ta-da! Um, so after you've I've done this, say you wanted like, you know, 900 frames or some, some stupid amount. Make 900 frames and you drag it and you all of a sudden have 900 frames. Whoop de do. Alright, so turn that back to 90. Um, you can play so that it goes along the timeline and plays an animation. Now, um, I'll do an animation in the, ne in the next tutorial and stuff. Um, you can also change the start of it so that it starts later but you probably want that on zero so that it starts on zero and then ends on a nice number say 200 nice numbers okay so now I'm going to go through a couple of the bottom bottoms underneath it um, this, will, this button here will bring you right back to the start this will take you to the, pre key, the previous keyframe. Keyframing is what you do to do animations. You click one of these buttons when you have an object and um, when you move it and then it'll make a little white mark, little white rectangle underneath where you are on the timeline and then you move it somewhere else and move it to another spot. You move the object in your perspective box to a different spot. Yeah, I'll just show you. Okay, so I've got a cube. I click the keyframing, which is this one right here. Okay, so as you can see, it's created a little square. So what you want to do with that is, um, once you've done this, you can. So once you, oh, okay. So what you're gonna want to do is automatic keyframing, which is the button next to keyframing. Um, so after you've done that, um, or it's either that or you can do it manually which is by clicking this button but sometimes I forget so I just click automatic keyframing okay so once you got that clicked um, you can move it to say 50, 50 frames and then you could move the cube to the right and now if we go at the start we've got a whole little animation of the cube moving to the right up to about 50 seconds and you can delete the frames and I can make it 200 frames and I just move it slightly to the right and then we got a very, very, very slow moving cube. Um, this sets selection object for keyframing. I'm not really quite sure what that does. Um, this is go to previous frame. Uh, pause play, yep, of course. And then this is to go along the frames that way. This one goes to the next keyframe. So the white cubes that you've placed on your frame timeline. And then this one goes to the end and this one goes to the Um not really sure what all these do. Uh but alright, well that's about all I have to teach you for this one <laughs> um, so I guess 
you have to wait till the next tutorial to find out how to do simple animation. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Um, remember to like and favourite, it actually helps me. And subscribe if you like my content. And would like to watch some more of it. Um, yeah, that's about it. See you guys. Bye.